I will bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Are there any young men in the room that have walked here in excellence? Is there any young brothers in here that have some excellent potential? Today we talked about excellence. And so young women of excellence, we bless you on today. Definitely we want to pay respect to our presiding bishop, Bishop Charles E. Blake, my pastor. We thank God for him and to the entire general board, to President Michael Hill of the Youth Department, to all of the vice presidents. We definitely appreciate Chair Lady Rogers and to this music president, Professor Ira Stevenson, another Californian. We bless God for all of our leaders. Young people, help me appreciate the leaders on this afternoon. We love them. Well, I bring you greetings from young men of valor. Today we had a great time in Jesus' name. We represented the Lord in high fashion on today as we stepped into the book of Psalm that said in the book, in the eighth portion of Psalm, which says, O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all of the earth. And so today we talked about being excellent. We talked about being excellent in our speech, excellent in our thought. We talked about being excellent in our walk. We talked about being excellent in every area of our lives. And so, young women, we also thought about you today. Young women of excellence, we not only thought about you, but we began to prepare ourselves for you because how can a young woman of excellent be excellent all alone? But there's some brothers that were also preparing themselves for excellence. And so when the time is right, somebody say when the time is right, that two people can come together and walk in excellence. And so young women of excellence, we didn't leave you alone today, but we prepared for you. As God prepared Adam in the garden, he was a husband man. He was a preparer in the garden before God gave him Eve. And so as young men, we were getting prepared today. We challenge young men to think, to write, to speak in excellence. And today I share with the young people that if we are saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost, our grades ought to represent it. I told them today that A stands for the anointing. That if you have an anointing upon your life, then you ought to have an A on your report card. I told them that a B represented a blessing. That if God has ordained you and orchestrated you, that you ought to be a blessing going somewhere about to happen. I told them that if you are a C, you don't even count. That a C represented mediocrity, a C represented the average, a C represented a curse, but that God is calling for us to be excellent in every area of our lives. We told them today that a D represented that you need deliverance. And that an F represented a failure, that you were forgotten. But we have some young men that were walking out of that room today in excellence. And not only did they walk out in excellence, but they have A's and B's. They have an anointing and they are a blessing. And so we thank God today, President Hill, in our class on today. We thank him for showing his face and stopping in. But young men, we want you to know that God is not through with you, that God has called you for excellence and that we will speak in excellence. We devour the thought of saying, huh, and what? Know what I'm saying? No, we don't know what you're saying. And so today we talked about our speech being excellent, that we have the ability to articulate, which means I have the ability to speak. And so the response, instead of saying, huh, and what is, excuse me, come again. And so if you all, young, young ladies, run into a young man, if we cannot hear you, we will say, excuse me, pardon me, if you would please repeat that, because God is not only wanting us to be excellent in our worship, but excellent in our work. And so for all of you young men that didn't get a chance to come by today, we will be tomorrow in room 108, and tomorrow we'll be talking about hip hop. And we are not just talking about hip hop, but I believe that we are igniting a holy culture. We are stepping into hip hop. We're destroying that thought of just hipping and hopping, but God is igniting not a hip hop culture, but a holy culture. And so we're going to talk about that on tomorrow. I want to know, can Jay-Z and Bishop Blake walk hand in hand? I want to know, can Mother Rivers and Missy Elliott sit together? So tomorrow we'll be talking about hip-hop and where is God in hip-hop. Tomorrow we want to know, Tupac said heaven had a ghetto. 
But I really want to know, does heaven have a ghetto? And so tomorrow we'll be talking about issues in reference to hip-hop. We want to know, women of God, how long will we allow you to be placed in music videos, to be disrespected, demoralized? And so tomorrow, join us as we talk about not a hip-hop culture, but igniting a holy culture for Jesus Christ. God bless you. I'm sorry, I missed my note. On Thursday night, we will be coming together. Young women of excellence and young men of valor. Thursday night, we will be coming together. Young lady, everything that you wanted to hear from a male's perspective will be together. My brother, everything that you wanted to hear from a female's perspective, we will be together. Sister Taria Cooper and myself, along with our great chair lady, and we will be having a great dialogue and a great time of coming together. How many of you all know that we get upset at you all sometimes when guys and girls are meeting in the hallway and meeting in places that they should not be meeting? Well, we have organized an opportunity for you all to come together and have Christian godly fellowship and you don't have to do it in a young lady's room and you don't have to do it in a young man's room you don't have to do it in the hallways after curfew but there will be a time on Thursday night that brothers and sisters can come together in fellowship and in unity so following the evening service on Thursday night around 10 30 we will be together in the youth hotel fellowshipping together in unity is that all right and so come prepared to worship, come prepared to enjoy one another in Jesus' name. God bless you.